Hey, welcome back to Blar, Random Rick Reviews. We have a game loft, game room tour. So this is my loft where I do my gaming. I've seen a lot of game room tours, like 2023 game room tour, 2022. They all look the same to me, pretty much. They all kind of show a lot of kind of boring stuff. And my biggest trying pet peeve of all these videos is just when you have a big collection of the spines of the video games. Now some have cool collectibles and stuff. So we're gonna go through my game loft so you can check it out. And this is the game room tour that nobody asked for. All right, so here's the Triple R gaming room loft. So there's some collectibles back there. See a WWE belt. I'm gonna go kind of left to right. Got a insignia. It's probably like a 24 inch TV. I got it at a thrift store. That's like, I think under 30 bucks. Got my Xbox 360 here. I paid 20, 29 bucks, so 30 and 30, about 60 bucks right here. Everything works pretty good. We'll go over here to the N64. Probably one of my least favorite consoles. Nah, <laughs> I know I make fun of it a lot because the graphics are terrible. But here are the only games you need for the N64. This is a wrestling game, a wrestling game, a wrestling game, a wrestling game and Xena. And then your N64 is complete. And we have a CRT here, Toshiba. It's probably like a 19, 20 inch. I think I paid 12 bucks for that. The old Xbox 360 camera. It's not hooked up, it's fair, I'd put it up there. Got a Dollar Tree globe. I don't have any of the Amina stuff, but that was a cool review, so I picked it up. So on Game Room Tours, I like seeing like the collectibles that are added, I guess, uh, added benefit to like video game collecting. Like these are just carts, no big deal. That's a console, we've all seen it. That's a controller. <laughs> now some people have like a bunch of controllers. Uh, over here we have another insignia. That I'm sure I paid probably 30 bucks for maybe. Uh, PS2, uh, I believe it's another thrift find. Probably again around 30 bucks if that. Uh, this controller, I may have to pick up a little more. It may cost me a little more. Good thing about these thrift TVs, it came with a remote. So both of them had the remotes, so this is really nice. We'll go over here to a little more modern. There's the Xbox One. It has a wire controller. I do use wire controllers now because I got sick of it. And the Xbox One controllers are terrible. This is an old LG 47 inch TV. I'm mainly gaming. Here's my Xbox One headset that works now and then. PS1, the hinge broke on that, but it still works. I always thought those were pretty cool. So that was a good find. It's a little bit dirty. <laughs> Wiped off the best kid, but scratched up actually, all the scratches. And some handhelds, we have a GBSP, a micro, uh, the D, I think it's the DS Lite, 3DS, down there's a PSP, a Microsoft Zune. Now here's what I was talking about. All these collecting game rooms, you're gonna see these spines, right? And they may grab one and be like, this is blah, 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 nobody cares. So I got some more down here. So we have some Xbox One, we have a Destiny action figure, uh, Core Ray. So most, I think 90, 90%, 99% of these on this shelf are all thrift finds. A couple are eBay, like that Dark Angel. They're all very cheap finds. But where I keep my main games, it will be in these case logics. Or I think you should keep most of your games. <laughs> Just look how much room that takes up. And most of those are empty. Throw a lot of cases away. You open this up. Tons of games in here. This is the PS2 binder. This is 360, PS1. So I think these hold like 250 CDs. So two stacks of those. Uh, they're not completely full, but they're pretty full. Just light 
uh, right here. And for PC gaming, uh, I've got some blue keyboards for my old PC. Those two monitors are thrift finds. Actually, these three monitors are thrift finds. Uh, they all work pretty good. And I just got this one. So it's a, what is this? S24 230L. I'm guessing that. Uh, I guess the 24 inch looks a little bit bigger than my 23 inch, yeah. There's a keyboard that came with my newer computer. This keyboard I don't like at all with this kind of mouse. I don't know why I haven't swapped it out and just used it like this instead. Uh, Blue Yeti. Uh, Snowball. Not Blue Yeti. Snowball. Barely use it. It does work. Uh, I use the Logitech S920. And LG is the main monitor, which I've had for years. And again, wired controllers. So that is the game room, or the gaming loft, where you see me play all the Twitch games, do the YouTube shorts, so on and so on. Oh, down here we have PS3. Again, I think that was I mean, under $12. Uh, another PS2, they're fine. Some wireless controllers and then here they got a couple more than 64 games Stuff like that so that is yeah the gaming loft and I did put some like lights on like so we turn these off so you can't really see but there's a light behind the 360 TV the globe changes. And there's uh, another light behind the PS2. And then I cheated. <laughs> you can't even see them anyway. But underneath that PS3, there's just two like snap on neon things. Yeah, you can't see those. That was a waste. <laughs> so thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.